I'm looking at, at a couple of PO, I'm, I'm interested in the POD space right now. I think it's a really cool opportunity. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm kind of toying around with, with, with some, some projects and I've got some, some artist friends that I'm interested in working with. And I sort of showed Colin one of the artists that I was, that I was interested in working with. And I, and my, my concern was, you know, this artist is, he's got these beautiful abstract paintings. He's got these things that I, like digital paintings that I would love to hang on my wall that, uh, that, that I think would be great. They, they, they really speak to me basically. And Colin cautioned me against, uh, the difference between a good product and a good direct response product, because the, the canvas stores that I see working really well are the ones that are all about value signaling, right? They're the ones that are all about like hustle till you die or, you know, like I love golden retrievers or whatever. It was really things that people can latch on to. So talk a little bit about the difference between a good product and a good direct response product. And, and then talk also about how you do, cr how, how creative plays into that as well. Cause you alluded to that. Yep. So I've got a little sticky note here with, when you start playing with a, a few of like the larger brands, you of course have like NDAs, not non-disclosures. And so I have a, I have a short list of brands that I can actually give examples that I got approval to talk, uh, to talk about. So, mm -hmm. um, but one of them is actually, um, we just launched uh, torque energy by the diesel brothers. They're one of the number nice. one shows on the discovery channel. I know Van, that, yeah. Van Oaks was on. Yeah. Yep. And I've been on a couple of emails with him. I don't know him personally. He's working on like the diesel power gear side of things or actually launching a brand from the ground up, which was their energy drink. They also sell it on diesel power gear. Um, but um, building this, it, it's an energy drink. Okay. The way that you sell an energy drink, I'm going to give an example. I'm going to dive back into your POD okay. because this was the best way I, I think I can describe it um, is – the way you sell an, well, the way you sell something brick and mortar or not online, not in a, in a non direct response atmosphere, is totally different than the than the way you sell or the reason why people buy stuff online. You take a torque energy drink; it's an energy drink. You're selling an energy drink brick and mortar. When you're selling it on, online, you're selling all day sustained energy. And, fo and improve focus without the crash. Okay. Okay. You're, it's not an energy drink. It's it's an outcome. It's people the outcome. With emotions, people buy with emotions. They have to feel attached to something. They have to they buy with emotion and justify with logic later. So my theory on this is, you sell an energy drink, brick and mortar, and you sell all day sustained energy and focus with no crash with torque energy. Here's the re here's now. People are like, oh, that's what I'm interested in. I feel unfocused at work and tired most days, like most people do, right? Um, so now they're interested in my app. They see the Diesel Brothers. They see the can. They see the message, right? They click on it. Now they're on my product page. Now they want to know how is this going to give me all-day sustained energy and an improved focus without the crash from an energy drink. Why is it different than Rebel? Why is it different than Monster? Um, this is on the product display page when you win that argument. So now let's go back to your your you, the the art that you showed me. That artist is very talented, beautiful. Um, I bought you know abstract art. It, I don't really know the the proper technical term for it, but it was more or less kind of like abstract art that you'd be printing on canvas. Yeah. It's a lot. It's great. It's definitely worth 150 to 250 dollars, which I believe what you want to sell it for, right? It lacks. It severely lacks direct response power. There's However, no why. There's no why, right? Like with Apple, Apple's all about you know you lead with the why, and so you know you, you need a two inch drill hole. You don't need a two inch drill bit, you know. And so so that's really what what you're saying as well there that like you need to you need to lead with the why, answer the why first. And with abstract art, there just isn't a why. It sort of defies that in a way, right? So you you might you might get the odd person, one out of a thousand people like me, that that speaks to on this level, and they say that's what I'm looking for. I've seen a lot of other crap out there, but that's not mass direct response. Marketing marketing that's, that's super niche yeah that's not a calculated investment on your ads think about your ads as an investment yeah. right there's not enough you can't make a calculated assumption that 